Welcome. My name is Stephen Mansfield. I'm here, the co-founder of uh, Singularity Watch, and we are very fortunate to be joined by Albert Zeller. He is the managing director of Luminova AG, which, as we all know, is the company that makes that magic that we put on our uh, watch faces that makes them glow in the dark. And certainly for all of us who delight in the visual depth and creativity we can bring to to the watch face, uh, we love what you do. Uh, tell us a little bit about Luminova and, and where you are and, and what you do. And you probably will also like the landscape. We really like in the, just at the beginning of the Alps, in the Alp Appenzell area. So mm -hmm. when we look out of our windows, we see like the mountains in front of us. So that's Switzerland, how a lot of people imagine it to be like. Yeah. 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 That's wonderful. I look forward to visiting next time I'm there. Tell us a bit about your business. We have the pleasure to supply our Swiss Superluminova products to the entire Swiss watch industry. It means it starts uh, with the Swatch and goes to companies in Geneva. So um, therefore, also the quality demands of that material are pretty high. Swiss Superluminova. Tell us, what exactly is it? It's not a magical powder which you will find in mind somewhere in Tibet, like you can uh, read on the internet. No, in fact, it's a, a ceramic powder. It's an aluminate, which is uh, polluted by purpose with rare earth ions. By rare earth ions, I mean uh, that's dysprosium and europium, which are mainly used. Those are the er elements in the periodic table, which you can find somewhere below where you never pay attention. <laughs> It's a very hard material. As I said, it's ceramic. Therefore, it has a Mohs hardness of nine. Diamond is 10. Steel is in between six and seven. So you can abrase steel with Superluminova if you handle it the wrong way. You only need very small amounts for luminizing a watch. This means like with one gram, you can ma already make in between 100 to let's say 300 entire watches. Or you can also cause a lot of damage if the material is not well done. So therefore, we keep a little bit of attention on that, that this does not happen. It's non-toxic. It's not radioactive. You could even say it's environmental friendly. There's only the danger if you start eating it, you probably abrase your teeth, which is not that good. Thank you very much for joining us. This is the first installment of our Luminova series. Uh, there's more to come. Stay tuned and uh, we'll get more into the details of, of how it all works. Look forward to seeing you the next time.